Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can install Windows 10 in VirtualBox. First, I'll open VirtualBox here. And now, click on New. Here, give the name to your virtual machine. I'll call it Win10. And you can choose the folder where you want to have this. Now, inside this, I don't have much storage left. So, I'll just change it by clicking Other here and then going to my D drive and then inside VB I'll create a new folder and let's call it Windows 10 and I'll select this and this is where I'll have the files for my Windows 10 now you need to select the ISO image for Windows 10 so if you want to know where you can download it officially from Microsoft check the link in the description below again click on other and go to wherever you have your ISO for Windows 10 I have it here so click on it and it will be selected now click next it's giving me an error that says can't create machine folder so yeah let me open this in administrative mode if you're having this issue try administrator mode so to do that just press windows and type virtual box and right click on it and click on run as administrator if you are asked do you want to allow this app to make changes click on yes again click on okay i'll just close the older version so which one was it let me just open it again because i'm not sure which instance was running as administrator okay now click on new win 10 you have the full name and then choose the folder where you want to install it select the ISO image from here click next okay so as you can see now you need to set username and password that will be used for uh, you know our windows so let me write gcc set the password okay now these are additional options which we have priority and all that stuff and for now I'll just change this domain name to or just let it be like this so we don't need to do anything it will work anyway now click next now base memory for Windows 10 uh, I recommend you have it set to 4 GB minimum so that is around 496 MB and processors let's just set it to two processors click next and virtual hard disk is of 50 GB I don't have 50 GB, I only have 20 GB something left, so I'll just create it to be uh, 15. Where is it? Set to be 15 GB, yeah. And yeah, I'll just click next again, click finish. And now, as you can see, it is saying Windows is powered off, but you don't need to do anything, it will power up automatically initially. Here, you can see the progress, it is 0% for now. Let's wait. So this is processing so as you can see now windows is setting up and this is how windows actually installs in your real machine too so it'll take some time here let's wait till this is done while this is processing check out our brand new awesome coding mods we've got t-shirts hoodies we've got stickers for laptops or notebooks cups bags and a lot more get it today from the link below as you can see it is still processing and it's going to take quite some time for this to finish up so let's wait finally as you can see our windows pc has turned on now we have windows inside our virtual machine i can click on this i can press windows and i can use it as it is and now yeah you can use windows inside your virtual box so i can close this and i can send the shutdown signal click ok now your machine will shut down and again I can go here and when you want to run this, you can click on this and then let's just close this power off this machine so that it is closed immediately. And again, next time you can just click on this and double click or click on start here to power up. So I double clicked and as you can see, it is showing powering up VM. So this is how you can install Windows and start Windows in Visual Virtual Box. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.